Welcome to Hy-Vee. We have everything you desire, such as sushi, eggs, meat, milk, fruits, and vegetables. Now, most likely you've traveled to or even walked inside the one right down off Madison Avenue to get groceries for the week or maybe even a Starbucks to start off your day. We're going to jump straight into it and talk about the founders of Hy-Vee. We then are going to talk about why Hy-Vee became so important and how it overpowered their competitors. And then we're also going to go upstairs into the manager's room to talk about the plans for the future. Most likely whenever you walk inside or even travel to Hy-Vee, your first thought would be, would be when you, who made this all possible? Who made it? Who made this? In the small town of Bakersfield, Iowa in 1930, according to Zipper.com, David M. Vordenberg and Charles L. Hyde were both co-founders of Verd Hyde and Vordenberg. These were both very successful entrepreneurs. They both decided to co-found a store, which is now we call today as Hy-Vee. Sadly, in 1949, they both retired, and sadly, David, later that year, died and passed away. Vaughn Pearson was elected the second ever president as Hy-Vee, and then Randy Edker uh, was the CEO from 2012 to 2021. And currently, Hy-Vee has a dual CEO opportunity where it's Jimmy Gosh and Aaron Weasel. According to Supermarket News, Edgar said in a statement that Hy-Vee is more than just a grocery. They focus on retail, they focus on customers, they focus on things that customers would like. Oh, look, in the aisle, there's a customer, there's an employee with a smile that's asked them for help. In 1961, Hy-Vee came, Hy came into the pot of names through employee contest draw, where with three people submitting it, and then 1961, Hy-Vee has its first computing system which was when they first actually started uh, advertising on TV, which of course, with the incurring of a new name, they had to of course make a new slogan, which is well known to even today, where well, there's a helpful smile in every aisle. And then according to zipper.com, Hy-Vee started funding college scholarships in, in 1969 from their successful years of business. And then Hy-Vee has um, Fuel Save Plus Perks Rewards Card, which is very popular to even most of the cash customers. According to Zipper.com, Hy-Vee has currently saved employees and customers $64 million from the start of 2021. Picture how much gas you can buy with that much money, especially during this time of crisis. And then Hyvee wishes to be more than just, Hyvee wishes to be worldwide instead of just in the United States. Hyvee uh, has abandoned plans for retail, real estate, not retail, going back until 2016 due to the fact of COVID-19 spreading. And then they also, in Twin Cities is a huge market for them, but sadly they're selling most of their retail real estate market, but still looking in around for Twin Cities. The reason why is because they plan on building bigger high vs covering at least 1,500,000 square feet or even more. According to NPR News, in 2023, Hyvee plans to drop 
seven different stores in Alabama, Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. And then 2026, they also plan to drop at least 20 different stores, including in those states I mentioned before. And also with the development of a new Des Moines Register Center, which is going to happen around Twin Cities. Now, let us go back. Let us walk you back through the front door. And thank you for listening to us today, talking about the founders and CEOs of Hy-Vee, what makes Hy-Vee so popular, and what makes it the company we are today. And then also, thank you for listening for plans for the future. We hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and be safe.